I like working with my hands, and I'm a very physical person. I like the dance, uh, the physicalness of the dance. I like the I like the sensuality of glass itself, of, of molten glass. Um, sculpting liquid is very challenging, um, and it's very satisfying. There's a sensuousness to it. There's an immediacy to it. Once I started working with glass, I it was so it came to me very easily. I was very comfortable with it right away. But my great grandfather was the chief designer of Lenox China. He, you know. So in a way, there's like that ceramics, because I started out doing clay, you know, there's that connection, I suppose. When I went to CCAC, taking the glass classes, I, it was fascinating, so fascinating to me. I, I, every spare moment I had, I would stay in the studio and watch, and just really figuring out, watching and figuring out the physics and what was going on, the whole movement of glass and the timing and everything. It was very important to spend so much time watching. And then from hanging around so much, uh, I would get asked to assist some of the grad students and things like that. I'm a very physical person. I like, I do a lot of sports and things like that. And um, so I prefer the offhand glass blowing because my whole body gets into it. I'm standing up. I'm sitting down. I'm, I'm hefting heavy sometimes heavy, you know, glass around and things like that, and the movement of it, it, you know, swinging it around and all of that, I just love, there's a whole dance involved in making glass. The flame work, however, I enjoy that as well, but it's a whole different feel. There's like, there's sort of, um, it's more detail-oriented in a, in a sense. Um, it's got, um, it's a it's a little bit different technique. But I enjoy it as well, but but my my true love is the offhand glass blowing. Yeah, definitely. I will flame work. Um, this is sort of my signature line. Involves lamp working or flame working the dancing figures that I then lay onto a hot plate. I also make marinis, which is an Italian technique. It's like uh, decorative beads, for lack of a better description. Um, and those are also picked up onto the, once I, once I get a certain amount of glass on the end of the blowpipe, <clears throat> I'll pick up the figures and the marines and the design that I want, I'll add to the piece. That's one of the nice things about working in glass that I like is you can build things up in layers. You know, the only, the only other thing, well, the, you can do things in layers in ceramics. You can do multiple fire pieces, or in painting, you put things on in layers. But glass has a different quality where you can actually get really deep layers of, of activity happening, visual activity happening. It can have a lot of stages to it, and a lot of um, cold work, we call it. <clears throat> but the hot work is my most intriguing, what satisfies me the most. Uh, doing some solid sculpture. I do a lot of heads and faces. You know, I've been messing around and doing some torsos. Uh, there's some ideas that I've been wanting to do with that. Um, and uh, it's just, uh, I, I feel, whenever you, I'm, I'm good at it, too, because I'm so comfortable with it. And one of the most frequent comments I get is how easy I make it look. And that has to do with how comfortable I am with it. So when I'm moving and using the tools and carrying the blowpipe and, and moving the glass around. It's, I know I'm totally in tune with it. I'm totally one with it. And so it looks really easy. And, uh, and that's how it feels to me too. It's just a, a comfort level. It's really satisfying. And now here I am today and I've got this big beautiful shop. I've got a, a very you know, strong business. I'm doing what I love to do. Um, doing what I need to be doing. And being a studio artist, a successful studio artist, and having a studio that people come to from all over the world, I like to keep my doors open. In other words, have other glass blowers come in here and collectors and just people off the street who have a curiosity about the form. It's a very intriguing, it's like a magnet when you're blowing glass. It's just this, um, it's just magical, it's alchemic, and it's physical, and it's sensuous, and all of these things. It's like, it's a lot of people just, they watch it, and they still can't figure out how it does what it does, you know?